Hello, it's me, Sunfire Studio. Welcome back to Obsidian Order. We, as you can see, I've been busy. Uh, we have had some issues. So, I attempted to record a time lapse, and as you know, I've been struggling with these for a while, and I finally got it to work. However, when I went back to look on the footage, it was very clunky, it was unpleasant to watch, it would not have been a good time lapse. So, we have scrapped that, and we have now got. A build. Now the build needs a lot of detailing still, which is good because it means we've got something to do this episode. Let me just... Uh, ah, I thought maybe... Hey, there we go. I've actually got some uh, spectral arrows which I seem to be using at the moment. But yeah, it, it, it's a bit unfortunate. So we've got this large sort of townhouse here, and I'm thinking this will be the sort of... I guess like animal farm. So we're going to connect all this up a little bit, uh, but we've got a lot of detailing yet to do on this build. There is also an interior that needs to be done as well. It's quite a large build. And then I'd like to do a little bit of, in fact, we'll show you because up even higher because we've got this little tower as well to deal with. But yeah, it's, uh, what have we got here? We have got the grey stained glass, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a window here because it actually looks a little out of place uh, at the moment. Pop, pop. Yeah, it needed that window there, I think. But we're going to do a little bit of detailing on this. Uh, we've got to put a chimney in. I'm thinking I might lower some of the land here as well so we can get another field for maybe the animals. And I'm probably going to have to name them so they don't despawn. I kind of want these open pens for the animals and I don't think I'm going to be able to do that without name tagging them. So I'm going to have to check my fishing supplies and see if I actually have uh, some name tags. But yeah, we've got a lot to crack on with this episode. So I'm going to do a little bit of work, uh, get back to you, show you what I've done. And we're just going to kind of tick away with this episode because the the fact that the time lapse didn't work kind of, it's for a massive spanner in the works for what my plans were for this sort of episode. Uh, so bear with me, it's going to be a little disjointed, unfortunately. Welcome back. So we have made quite a bit of changes to the front and the back of this build. Uh, we've got some flower boxes and things like that, just to kind of enhance the, the sort of visuals of this. It definitely looks a lot more full, a lot more interesting. Um, doesn't look too crowded, which I was a little worried about. I was a little worried about it looking too crowded. And yeah, everything's sort of decorated on this now, but I'm thinking what we do need is a chimney. I'm going to be turning this into kind of like uh, a bit of a, a farmhouse slash butchery. So we've got, if you come around here, we've got a little, I guess like an air curing or smoking. Ah, I'm not really too sure what I'm going to do with that, but they're, they're hauling meat up there. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I haven't thought this through that much yet. But I'm thinking we do need a chimney, and I was debating whether to put it on this side or here. And I feel like here might be perfect, because it's not going to interfere too much with the profile of the build, like it would on this side. So I want to get some material for that. I'm thinking probably granite, if I'm honest. Granite for the, um, for the chimney here, and we'll just kind of build that up nice and tall, give it a bit more oomph. And I still want to do something with uh, with that little bit there. I'm not entirely sure what to do there. But I will figure something out. It just looks a little blank, doesn't it? It needs something underneath. Hmm. Leave it with me. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a meaty looking chimney. That's exactly what we wanted for this build. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to have time to get all the indoors done as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these campfires in, get the uh, I guess get get the design finished up for these internal bits um, for the fireplaces. I will head to spawn. We'll see if we've made any money, and then I'll check. How are we doing on the episode and if we've got time to uh, finish off this inside of the build? Good lord. 
Okay, we uh, need to unload some of this, definitely. Let's get this in this chest here. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised at this point, but it's still, every time, it just, it gets me. Uh, right, let's chuck that back in there. Do I really need to? I don't think I need to take more. So we've got that one. I do need a bunch of my paper. Although I do think I've got a shelter somewhere that is full of paper as well. But we shall see. So that is the paper one. Now that's doing... Jeez, that's doing pretty good, isn't it? Let's get some paper. I need a new mouse, that's what I need. It is super loud, this mouse. I hadn't realized how loud it was until recently in recordings when it just, it, it dominates the entire video. I'm not sure what to do about it because I can't really afford that at the moment. Uh, a few issues with health and things like that, which kind of make finances a little tight. Anyway, enough whinging. It's tight for everybody at the moment. There's a lot of stuff going on. Right. Uh, one more stack. Bump. And that should be our paper done as well. We'll make the rockets when we get there because it's a hassle. <laughs> right, off to spawn. I'm genuinely not anticipating many sales, but uh, let's, let's have a wee look. Never know. Actually, actually, you never know with this server. I had to see in Mad Dog's episode, he had uh, the rockets in his offhand, and it was great for business, because he kept accidentally firing them. Uh, no. 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 Nope. Oh. Mm, not really. I mean, we could we could definitely fill up uh, the final box there, and probably fill the rest of the gunpowder in there. But basically, then, the, the shop is fully stocked. I basically just have to wait for other people on the server to buy stuff. So at the moment, not super poor. I do have a decent amount of stuff now. How many diamonds we got there? 15. I'll grab some out because I do need some iron. And I don't know how much iron is actually. Is it one, one diamond per stack? It's... Oh, six, four, I think it's two diamonds. Okay, so I will grab a little bit. So how much is that? What, five stacks? One, two, three, four, five? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, I am poor now. <laughs> I do need more money. But we do have a relatively decent amount of iron there. We do have a lot of emeralds. I need to do something with that. Uh, maybe make some... Maybe make the beacon bigger, because we have got a beacon, but we haven't really done much with it. Uh, we've got a little bit of neverite scrap left over, a bit of diamonds in there. Make sure this time I pick it up. There you go. And I will put it back in there. I do not want to lose it again. Uh, that's the last thing I want. I'm going to make up some rockets, see how much time I've got left, and uh, I'll be right back. Welcome back. It is a bit of a disjointed episode, I'm afraid. Uh, I had recorded an ending for this episode. I, I've run out of time, but since then i've come back on i've done more work but not the stuff i said i was going to do in the episode so i'm going to show you that instead so first off i found out something i'm, I'm pretty sure i haven't found it out myself it's probably like common knowledge at this point but i didn't know about it so i'm going to share it with you uh, i have not been able to find a soul sand valley with the soul soil in uh obsidian order yet but i found that if you craft a soul campfire with soul sand, you place it down, and you use, oh that's a nice texture, uh, and you use a item to break it that does not have silk touch, you get back one soul soil, and with that soul soil, if we head out this way, can we get out the door? You can make a basalt generator, now it took me a while to work out how to do this as well. I'm not up to it on the stuff in the update. Uh, I'm just kind of whim winging it and hoping for the best and figuring it out. I knew you needed to ice, but I didn't really know the, well, the correct sort of order to put stuff. But we've got a little basalt generator in here. I need to do something with this. It's a bit ugly. But behind here, you've got your lava bucket. That. 
Oh, okay. Instantly bad idea. Why did I do that? Oh, there we go, let's get rid of that. Okay. But we can break this one. Every time it flows, it'll make another basalt, and that's our basalt generator. That isn't what I wanted to show you though. I do need to do something with this because it's a bit of a mess, but it's not what I've been working on. What I've been working on is pretty much all the farms and things like that that I haven't really had much time to, to address in this series yet. So a lot of it is just basic stuff. It's not really worth doing in an episode itself, but I'll show you what I've been up to. So we've got Mirim. We've done a lot of trading now to get this beacon almost fully complete. We've gone ahead and added a little bit of a sort of walkway that the public can use to get to the farm. So we've got our gunpowder farm, we've got the sugarcane farm that's doing quite well, we've got the pumpkin and melon farm, which, oh, and the vine farm, which I've started to decorate, but I've still got a lot of work to do. Uh, considering it's dead air, that's not bad. How's the, how's the uh, melons doing? Yeah, yeah, all right. So that's quite good. I need to put maybe buttons on here to stop it spreading down this, because I don't really want the vines everywhere. I just want them on the one wall where I can harvest them. I've also gone ahead and added in a place where we could farm the new Neverwoods. I honestly can't remember if I showed it at the start of this episode, but you, you can guess I've got one because uh, the, the building that we covered was basically all of the uh, warped wood planks. So this is the sort of cathedral that we've got. We've got a nice big arch up there. Nice lava river running through. Chandeliers, it looks very fancy. And I've just started something over here as well. So I've put in a cactus farm. I don't really have much need for cactus, but oh, it's doing all right. But uh, yeah, it's gonna sit and tick around in the background and that will probably fill up very quick. There's 64 cactuses in there, so that's gonna fill up very quick. As mentioned, we have not done anything outside, but I did add something to the build, which I forgot to add before, which was a dormer window on the very outside. I, I again, can't remember what I recorded. I'll have to check the footage later, but I think I mentioned potentially adding one, but then didn't when I was actually recording uh, what I was doing. So I've gone back and I've added that dormer window. You can probably see it in the thumbnail anyway, but let's uh, whoop, fly up and take a look at it. So the town's really starting to come along, but I do need to do a lot of the interior decorating. I'd like to get a, I guess, a, ooh, an airship. That's something I, I've talked to Mantis about getting uh, an airship, and I haven't actually gone about doing that yet. So that's something I need to work on. But yeah, the dormer window looks really nice. I've, I've added a bit more detailing. I'm, I am happy with this build now. I'm, I'm very happy with this build. We do need to add the fields. We do need to add a bit more kind of detailing around here and maybe work on maybe a, a, a warehouse for this area. I feel like a warehouse is probably ideal, but yeah, this is the meat farm. So we're going to be adding some fields for the animals. Got some meat drying in the air. I'm not sure how hygienic that is, but that's, that's what's happening. And yeah, that's basically what we've done this episode. I, I've got so many plans, but honestly, it's been so difficult to get time at the moment. I've been rushed off my feet with my illness, with my work, family life, everything. So unfortunately, I, like I said, it was a bit of a disjointed episode, but I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you like the build and I shall catch you next time. Bye for now.